Hi guys, in previous videos we have seen what is log4j, what is logging and how to do logging in the projects using basic configuration and properties file configuration and we understood why it is, what is that console appender and file appender and what is log level, how log levels are going to work. Now, so we had done logging for a project by using both console appender and file appender the messages are getting generated in the log file now the next step when we are done this logging for our application we will do the basic unit testing of that application we will move the application to higher environments like sit uat pilot and production suppose when the application is deployed into the production server some functionality is not working testers are end user identified that there is a problem they reported that now developer has to fix that problem why that functionality not working in the production environment do you have the server console of the production system to understand no production servers will be deployed production servers will be in client location we are working in the offshore suppose i am working in the hyderabad location my production server is in the us now log messages are generating for that application now i need to understand that log message in which class which method which line is not working and what is the root cause of that problem then only i can provide fix for that problem so how i need to check that so as we are using this logging in our application we can easily check the log file and we can understand what is the problem and we can provide fix for that problem so now the question how to monitor the log file which is created in the production server so can you go to that and can you see that file no that is not possible so we need to use some set of tools to monitor those log files which are in the production what are the tools people are going to use in the industry there are some people are using winscp putty nowadays industry is going with splunk also winscp putty splunk these are called log monitoring tools now we are going to see how to use these tools to monitor log files in the real time environment now first download winscp tool now if you go to that official website here winscp download option will be there download winscp tool we are going to download that tool i have already downloaded that let me open that winscp now so i connected to winscp here now in this tool now it is asking me to enter hostname username and password what hostname username and password so my log file is getting created in the production system or in some other system where my deployment team one mounted those log files so we should connect to the server where our log file is getting created for that our project infrastructure team are going to provide some details like what is the host name and of in which computer that log file is working log file is available and what is the username and password and what is the path of that log file those details we can identify now so in the project they are going to share you these details like host name and username password and path of the logs so that by using these details we will connect it to our server or that system where log files are available and we will go to this path and we will see that log file what is the problem occurred now let me connect to this host using winscp host name username password these details will be provided by your project administrator now login now you can see that i connected to my server where my log files are available here now so these are so many folders are there we can see we need to see the path in which file in the prdp ies logs some machine name here we can see that there are so many log files are created in for our application. 
now so which more for every basically for every module people are going to create one log file so that file name will be there based on that file we are going to copy those logs here directly you can open this log file here but the size will be very high so what we can do is we can copy the log file from that log server to our local machine this window this window representing our local and this is a remote system machine now simply if i want to copy this log like business.log is there simply select this file drag to here drag that file that file is downloading into my local machine now you can see that like this for which module you want to analyze the log for that module one log file is there copy that log file from that remote machine to local machine then we can understand at which situation that particular method got failed what is the exception what is the problem of that now go to that location i copied here business some file is still getting copied previously i copied one log file here now open this log file now you can see that these are the log message printed info so on so date and time what is the thread and what is happening here we can see that these are the log messages like this we can monitor our log files we can check our log files now go to this now you can see just now we copied the log file business.log from remote machine to my local machine this is the my local path and this is the remote system path now go to here business.log open you can see that date time print some operations we are printing here if any exception occurs in that file then we can easily see that why that exception got occurred and when that exception got occurred what is the root cause of that exception we can monitor these files this is called log monitoring by using win scp tool now so by using this win scp we can connect to the system where our log files are mounted we can drag that file into our local machine that is copying the file see here once again suppose if i want to log this if i want to copy this file select this drag and drop now that file is getting copied into my local machine then i can open that file and i can understand when that method got executed why that method is throwing some exception what is the root cause for that this is one way of monitoring the log file by using win scp now but if you observe in this message in this file so many lines of log messages are there but i want to monitor log files log file for last 10 minutes of the log messages only i want or from this so and so file i want to get the log files of yesterday 10 am to 10 5 am that 5 minutes of duration log messages i want to capture that will be very difficult by using this win scp by using win scp we can directly download the complete log file and we have to go to each and every line we need to check for that time period what messages got generated in that time period what exception got occurred that is very difficult for that developer to understand the messages or to understand application execution status and we cannot generate any reports also here that's why nowadays industry is going for one commercial tool called splunk splunk is a log analyzer tool so most of the projects in the industry are using splunk tool to analyze the log files now so how we are going to use this splunk tool now so when you join in the company they are going to tell you what is the splunk url of your project they will create a username and password for you simply you need to connect to that splunk tool you need to log in based on your credentials and we can write some queries in the splunk uh, to monitor those log files here now this time opening my project splunk here taking time to load already i logged in here so it is not asking me to log in again so here i'm going for search and reporting so basic splunk query I am using here to query some log file whose name is correspondence underscore null dot log. This is the enter set set here what log which file you want to query. Now I am entering this one. Here I want to search for some keyword. In that log file I want to get the log message which contains this keyword. 
what 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 at what time log message you want to retrieve 30 minutes window you want to retrieve or you want to retrieve in the last 15 minutes last 30 days or today so based on your requirement you can choose here now i am going for last 15 minutes click on search option now so this plunk is mounted to our log server it is retrieving that log messages from this file which are containing this keyword this is called splunk query now see this is the log message as printed at this time which is having this keyword what i have given here now so like this these are the these all are the messages which are containing the given keyword in the correspondence iphone null dot log file now similarly i want to retrieve this log message which contain this keyword in the yesterday's duration you can change the date also yesterday 10 8 so October 18th log message I want to get from this file which contain the given keyword I selected date range from this date to this date you can choose time range also from what time to what time now so I have selected this one click on search now so it is going to retrieve the remaining I mean the messages which are contain this keyword so this is called querying logs using Splunk so nowadays people are using this Splunk tool extensively to analyze the log files which are for the real-time systems like when the project is in the production that production system will be mount logs will be mounted to Splunk tool from the Splunk tool we can analyze the logs very easily so this is called log monitoring of real-time applications so one thing we need to remember several tools are available to monitor the logs they are WinSCP, Putty and Splunk. When we are using the WinSCP, we should know IP address, username, password and path of the logs. Those things will be provided by project administrator. Now, this is the screenshot. We'll connect to that. Just now we have seen how to copy the log from remote system to local machine. Just drag and drop. Next one, WinS, uh, Splunk tool we have seen that is very, very have with I mean the tool is having lot of demand nowadays to perform analysis of the real-time logs of production systems just now we have seen how to write a Splunk query also fine guys with this I am done from my side if you have any questions always you can connect with me this is my Facebook group name Ashok IT School uh, URL of the group if you have any questions you can post there and the source code what we have used for logging and material of the log4j you can find in my facebook group that is ashok it school if you have any personal questions you can drop me a note this is my personal email id ashok.javatraining at the red gmail.com and log4j code examples are also available in my git repository this is my git repository url so that's it from my end thank you guys